Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so today I'm going to show you step by step how to edit a video. Now this video is pretty complex. It's an interview. There's a, a ton of different uh, types of footage. We got footage from um, a 5D Mark III. We got a GoPro. We got some other footage that was captured. We got a screen capture and then we're using a Sony cam. So first thing that you want to do is you want to organize your files so that you don't um, want to kill yourself later on. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to open Premiere Pro. Okay, we're going to do a new project. I'm going to name it uh, Richie Interview because that's what it is. I'm going to change it later. Now, because all my folders are organized already, when I import, I can just select them all and it'll create their own separate bins. Okay, so now I'm gonna create a new bin. We'll call it Sequences. Okay, and I'm gonna create a new sequence. So this will be Interview. Okay, now once all these are ready to go, I'm gonna grab my Interview footage and I'm gonna sync it up with the interview audio. Now, the first thing I gotta do is I have to find it. Now, we shot a lot, there's a million takes, so this might take me a bit. All right, so I know it's gotta be, it's not not these. So I'm gonna, actually I'm gonna create a new bin here. We'll call it B-roll, just so I can organize a little bit better. So I know that this is, the, this is an interview. I guess you can say my first viral. Yeah, so these are the interview clips here. Yeah. This is the intro. So whatever. Um, so what I could do is I can rename it. I can do in I can do uh, you know Richie intro or just intro. Just so I know what it is later on. Okay, and then we're gonna do interview because I know this is the interview. Now another thing I like to do is I like to write what type of shot it is. So this is a medium shot. And this just helps me out later on when I do my multi-camera sequence. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, we have Sony. Okay, so that's B-roll. That's B-roll. That's probably the interview. So I'll drag these two into B-roll here. All right, so intro. Now this is a wide. Intro wide. And then we got interview wide. Okay, so I'm gonna take these. I'm going to command click them all if you're on a Mac. Right click, and then you're gonna go create multicam source sequence. Now I'm gonna do interview multicam. Um, yours might not look like this, but I tend to click sync by audio, I do custom and I create my own. And that's it, and then I click OK. It's gonna process the audio and video and it's gonna create a multicam sequence. <laughs> Boom, there you go. So we're gonna close all this and I'll create a new bin, why not? Multicam, drag that in there. All right, so now we're on our interview sequence. I'm gonna take the interview multicam and I'm gonna drag it down. So what did I just do? I just combined three different types of camera angles with one audio source. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna to go to display mode, multi-camera. So what it did is it created a multi-camera sequence for me. So I'm gonna expand that, make it a little bit bigger so I know what I'm looking at here. What happens is when, when you play, you can actually click which camera angle you want and it's going to take a live cut for you. So if I push space, uh, let's scrub through. Ran out of space on that, so I moved up a few years later to a 16. And then when I want to take another cut, I just click. Analog. So it was a reel-to-reel -reel And it cuts game. live right and, uh, to it. I think only 14 tracks worked on it. And uh, so that was great, but then computer recording got a lot more affordable. And back in the early days of that, you had to get a Mac. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm gonna go through the whole thing and so I'm gonna do all the cuts. Um, so it's gonna take a while. So I'm gonna pause right here and I'll let you know when I'm done.